Do you continue formatting the tables using these borders? And then you choose here and apply another color. If yes, this video is for you. I'll show you how format tables automatically. And also you can automatically add or remove any data, any column and any row. Interested? Follow me. So let's see how to format a range as table. And the first option is apply a format to the new table from scratch. Here we have our new table and let's name it table without border. And I will copy it and create a new one sheet. Here we have table without border. Here we have standard, standard border. And here we have our new sheet and let's name it sheet one at that moment. We will create from the blank view the format table. So select all, control A, go to home tab, then styles, format table and choose any one you want. And click on my table has headers if you have them. And here is already selected the range because you selected it before and click on OK. And here it is. How understand that the format is already applied to this table? It is very easy because here in the ribbon you have the table design. And if you, we go back to the standard border and click on the table, we do not have here the table design. So let me name this one the number one. And the second is apply a format to already existing table. Let's see. Here we have our standard border without table design tab here. Let me copy it. And let me rename it to number two. And we will select all range, Ctrl A, then go to Home tab, Styles, Format as Table, choose any style you like. We will choose right click here and choose Apply and Clear Formatting. And here the range is already selected. Click on My Table has headers and OK. And here it is, and we have here the table design. And now let's see the advantages of table styles. The first one is easy to add a new rows and columns. Let's take a look. Here we have our table style, and let's say we will add a new row, Italy, and new row, Spain, and the format is adding as well because the table understands that we continue this formatting and also we can add for example total here as well and what we can do is to change the color for example to put it another color and so on if we will go to the standard border and say here for example italy at row and spain and here we will add some kind of april or total what happened nothing the table does not understand that it it will be table it will continue as table so we need to select all go here and continue formatting and the next advantage is to automate totals and not only totals, we can automate some minimum, maximum count and etc. by only one click. Let's see. To receive the total, you will go to any cell in, uh, in the table, click on table design tab and go to total row. And here we have the total and we can add the total to any our column. But you can choose not total, but also minimum, maximum or what you want from here. 
I will take a sum as well, and here a sum as well, and here I will add count. And uh, what happened when I will choose any region, let's say EPEC, and click on here, we can see that we have three rows with EPEC, and here are the sum of these rows. Cool, right? And the next one is move columns, one of my favorites. Let's see. Let's say here we would like to move this column and put it in the first place here. So we will choose the column and we will put a mouse by this way. Then when we change the plus to this sign, select and move it. And here you can see the green line and you will put it exactly when the line appears and put it here. And the next one is delete columns, also my favorite. For example, you would like to delete this column. Of course, you can right click here and delete, but if you will choose it, Please note that this information you have below the table will be deleted as well. Let's see exactly. And how we can delete a column and maintaining all this information. Let me go back, Ctrl Z. And all we need is to click anywhere in this column, right click, delete, and choose column. And here, as you can see, the information is not deleted, right? And the next one is easy to add, read and modify formulas. Let's take a look. Let's say here we have our revenue column, target column, and we would like to add the achievement data. What we need is to divide revenue by target. And let's say that, but first let me go to our standard border and click here, revenue divided by target. So we have here our percentage received. And if we read here, we see that it is E5 divided by F5. But what happened when we have a very big data and a very big table and always when we go back to this table on when we try to read it we need to understand and remember or looking for to find what is e5 and what is f5 it is the first one and then to move all this formula to copy to the to the full column, all we need is to double click here and it will be copied automatically. And what happened if we would like to add here any data and modify, we will say it will be the same amount, but we will minus here 10 percentage. And here it is applied, but it is not applied to the full column, right? We need to copy it and choose the full column and apply it as well. Let's see what happened if we will go to our style formatting table. And here we will do the same. We'll click on equal and then revenue divided by target. Revenue divided by target. And you can see already each column has his name and click on enter and first of all it is added automatically you do not need to do any manipulation and for example let's say that we would like to change the formula in the full column all you need is to, to click in any cell in then in formula bar and let's say we will add minus 10 percentage and here it is it is applied to the full column if you would like to calculate only one cell and the other no, for example, this one, all you need to click down and click on autocorrect option 
and stop automatically creating. When you click here, the all cells will stop it. And here you can see that only the cell has another formula, but the rest do not have. And you can check because here in the top left corner, you can see this green sign. To go back, all you need is to go to File, Option, Proofing, Autocorrect Option, Auto Format as you type, and Fill Formulas in Table to create calculated columns. Click OK and then OK. And then if you will go back and click, it will be applied to the full column. The next one is select columns. It is very easy. So instead of select all column or control shift and arrow down, we can put our mouse instead of the column. When you can see this arrow, you can click on and the column is selected except the header. And the next one is advanced filter. Also one of my favorites to add a filter. All you need is to click inside of the table, go table design tab and click here, insert slicer. And here we can choose any bottom we would like, for example, region. And click on OK. And here we have some kind of dashboard. We can click on any region and we will filter by this, we can click on both of them, maintain and shift, and we can remove the filter. Really cool, right? You can also change the format of uh, this filter, and you can add here, for example, some rows, and put it here, and scroll it to the full table you have, You can go to slicer and change the columns. We have three columns, right? So it will be free. And here we have, we change again the size. And for example, we would not like to have here the header. So we will go again to slicer, slicer setting and display header, click off and OK. And here we have it. And we can right click on the left button, go to view, click on guidelines. And now let's say that we would like to change the color. So we will go to slicer again, choose the slicer styles, right? And we can click here as well. And we see here. And now let's say that we would like to remove this border. And here you click fill, no color, then border, no border and then OK and OK. And now we click here again, go to slicer, click on here and here we have created it already. It is custom format. Click on here and and that's all. And the next one is delete duplicates. Let's say we will completely duplicate this row here and then one more with different information in revenue and in targets. And then to remove completely duplicated fields, all we need is to go to table design and here remove duplicates and we will select all columns if we would like to remove completely duplicates all fields in every column. We will click on OK 
and we have one duplicate value found and removed because we exactly edit only one row completely duplicated and then okay if we would like to remove every row with the similar information for example germany and here we have one and the next one we have here all we need is to go to table design remove duplicates unselect all column and select only the related in our case will be country and we click OK, and it is one duplicate value found and removed. And that's all. And the last one is dynamic ranges. Let's say we will extract here all regions, the sum of revenue per region. So to extract all regions we have, we will use the function unique. To select the array, all, all we need is to move our mouse to the related column region in our case and till we will have this row and then click and we have selected the full column then enter and here we have our regions and then we will click to revenue and instead of extract the revenue we will use the function sum if the range will be our region so we will do the same we will move the mouse till we receive this arrow click on it and we have here the region already and then comma and criteria will be this one right and then comma and the sum range will be the column of revenue and we will choose the full column and we have here it is chosen a revenue and then enter and then we will click down and for example if we will change something and here remove remove any any row or adding any information for example here we will change the revenue here will be changed as well and if we will add any information here for example spain and emia and we'll add any number we will see that here this number will be changed. So it is completely dynamic. And that's all. Thank you for watching.